Alright guys, today we have five observations that we got from yesterday's training camp practice. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting off right away, shout out to Dan Ford for posting this. But the first one he has here is Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, and T. Higgins are inseparable at practice. We're like brothers, said Higgins. Blood couldn't make us any closer. We love each other like we have the same mama. Now, this is what makes, you know, the potential that Tyler Boyd could be leaving us after the season even more, you know, scary, sad, sad. But it is a part of football, and I do love the fact that Charlie Jones and Jamar Chase seems like they have a little bit of a connection already. And hopefully that can go farther, and hopefully Jamar, I'm sorry, uh, Charlie Jones can be that replacement and that, you know, trio of, you know, that connection. Or, hopefully, it works out, and Tyler Boyd takes a team-friendly deal, and he ends up staying with us for a little to no money. That would be awesome at the end of the day, but at the same time, though, if he does want to leave us and go get big payday, I'm not going to be upset with that, because at the end of the day, I want whatever is best for Tyler Boyd. And I'm sure even if he does end up leaving us in the end, he's still going to have that connection with, you know, Jamar Chase and T. Higgins. You got to keep in mind that Tyler Boyd actually grew up with DeMar Hamlin. And they were very close when they grew up. And they were very close ever since they've been in the league together. So, with that being said, you know, just because you're on another team doesn't, doesn't mean that connection is gone. Right? So, even if we do lose Tyler Boyd, he will still be forever a Cincinnati Bengal. Number two. The defense had three interceptions, including a pick six by Trey Hendrickson on a Jake Browning screen pass. It's bittersweet because Jake's a good buddy, but it's a competitive environment, Trey, uh, Trey said. Orlando Brown released on the screen, so it was a good read. So it was kind of fun. We looked at this yesterday, guys, and I'm going to tell you right now, this was the funniest slash awesomest play I've seen in training camp so far. And it is literally, bro, this is such a crazy play. So it's a screen pass, and Hendrickson goes up, and again, one-handed, grabs that football, brings it into his chest, and runs the ball back for six points. And listen, I have seen J.J. Watt do some crazy plays in football, right? That might be the craziest play I've seen in a very long time when it comes to, especially training camp. Because listen, training camp, you know, players play at a top level, but at the end of the day, you know, they're not always going extra like this to get a pick six. And it goes to show the level and amazingness that Trey Henderson's at, that even in training camp, he's still making plays. He's still making plays. And I really hope he does this in, the, in, in, in an NFL game and does get the pick six. Now, he does put on here that he had the pick six. In all honesty, I don't think he would have had the pick six because DJ Turner was right behind him. Now, could DJ Turner tackle him? Potentially, no, in all honesty, because he is a bigger guy, you know, and he probably could, like, out-muscle DJ Turner. But DJ Turner was on his butt. So I just want to mention that, that DJ Turner might have been able to get him. Um, under wet condition, Chris Evans dropped this deep ball, but he's a proven receiver. He's trying to show that he can pick up blitzes to play on third down. I got to take a full responsibility to be able to protect the quarterback, he said. Without him, we can't do every, anything. And the rain was going crazy yesterday. Absolutely insane. And let's see this play. How bad was the drop? Uh, yeah, you know what? Again, like I said, it was raining, so I'm, I'm really not going to put that on him. In reality-wise, like, yes, he did drop the ball that was right in his hands, but it was raining. And But second off, what I like about this was the separation he got on Jermaine Pratt. And getting separation on Jermaine Pratt is not easy to do by any stretch of the imagination. So his ability to get separation on Jermaine Pratt, and again, if he catches this, he's going for a touchdown. I can let the drop slide for that reason. Right, because at the end of the day, it was a real route, right? Jermaine Pratt was covering him, but when it comes to real routes, kind of hard to really cover the running back because they're going out like this. This is a real route, right? It's like this, right? So you go to the left, kind of curve, and then you go up the sideline. Sometimes it's a little bit more tougher to cover that type of route. So I don't really blame Jermaine Pratt, but I say it's a really good play 
by Chris Evans. If only he caught that ball, man, that would be a 10 out of 10 play. Max Sharpinger had a 38 NFL career start at its guard and is also playing tackle. He also played tackle in college. Now he's adding reps at center. Ooh, that's interesting. The first preseason game was the first time I played it in, in a game. He said, thankfully, they let me play guard in the first quarter so I could get the jitters out. Hold up. Was he the guy who messed up the, the snap where he delayed the snap too much and that caused, you know, um, Jackson Carmen not to move? I don't think so because he said the first quarter he played guard and I think that play was in the first quarter. So, never mind. I don't think it was him. But nonetheless, though, that's interesting. Number five. Uh, nose guard Dominique Davis is having a solid camp after having a normal offseason. Last year, he joined the Bengals in July after playing 10 games in the USFL in the spring. I got a break this time, he said. It gave me time to let my body heal. And guys, that's it. All five observations we got from day 12 of Cincinnati Bengals training camp. Is it day 12 or day 13? Day 13. This is flying by. I cannot believe that we are literally two or three weeks away from the season starting, guys. Keep in mind, I will be live on Friday night. We'll be live a little bit early so we can do some pregame, you know, action before we play the Atlanta Falcons. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next one. Peace.